Hey, and welcome back with another video of The Carry Check. Jared and Nate here. Today, we want to talk to you about overcoming sales objection. Um, it's it's tough. It's tough getting those, the, the no's. We don't want to work with you. You've heard it all before, Jared. Mm -hmm. You know, you in your past, you've had a, the ability and the opportunity to sit in that broker seat, and you've heard a lot of these objections. Um, I'm really eager to kind of hear your thoughts and some of the things you've heard back in the day, um, maybe things that you hear today. And how do people handle those objections today? It's tough out there. Yeah, I you know, I think objections are, you know, just a way of somebody showing you that they don't trust you or there's a fear of failure that potentially right. comes from the other side of that out right and so you know when you get an objection and that can be as simple as you know we're customer routed uh we uh, are good we don't sign up brokers or we only work with brokers for those of you who are carriers um you know at the end of the day we don't want to necessarily force our way into a relationship right our goal is to provide enough value so that they feel comfortable with you over a period of time, right? And so my recommendation, here's a tangible thing that you can take right today, is acknowledge the acknowledge the rejection, the objection, whatever it is, right? And that could be, hey, you know, we're not using brokers anymore. Uh, we're only working with, and acknowledge the objection and be prepared. Have a couple things wrote down that you've practiced. Don't, don't make it sound like a script and be prepared to respond, acknowledge it, let them know that you understand and hear them, that you that you're communicating, and then just say, you know, I completely understand your 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 side of that, and then just give them some something for them to think about or some value that that would maybe possibly help, right? And so I think now more than ever, shipping managers, transportation managers, logistics managers, all these people are really wanting to find actually true people that help them and find solutions within their supply chain. Well said, Jen. I think you. I think for those of you that out there that are just getting started in this industry or maybe a veteran, um, continue to put yourself in yeah. those other people's shoes or write down those objections like you mentioned. That way, you have a something to reflect back on. You know, back on yep. um, the ability to kind of be like, okay, I've heard this before. Where do I take it? Um, you know, this person says this. Let's go here with mm. it. So um, I think that's really important. Jared, um, anything you would like to add before we close this video? Yeah, I think the thing with you know overcoming objections is don't take it personal. Learn from each opportunity um, and and just adjust and and really look at your sales process. And say, okay, I'm calling this industry this time in this part of the country and really try to focus on how do I better each time, each opportunity that you get to know is just a little bit closer to saying yes. Well said, Jared. You guys, thank you for so much for watching. Uh, we hope you took a couple of these tips today and run with it. Uh, like I said before, EK Check is a wonderful tool to help you put yourself in the right opportunity. And maybe you'll hear some more objections, but you'll grow as a person and you'll get some more yeses, turn them into opportunities, right? Exactly. So hit us up, let us know how we can help you and support you. Um, thanks for watching.